Hey everyone, Admiral Seabass here for France and Italy, January 1943. France is pretty simple again. They got seven bucks. They're going to buy a Colonial and save three. They do have one combat move. They're going to move into here and take out Eritrea. And then they will blitz into there. Um... And then uh, for non-combats, they will move these two guys in here, this guy in. I'll chip him out. So they have a nice little attacking force there, consolidated in Nubia. And this guy will stay where he is. So they'll build their colonial down here in Belgian Congo. And then they will collect another four bucks, which will give him another seven dollars to spend next turn. So, could they build a minor factory in here? I think they probably can. We'll have to think about that. All right, that's it for the French turn. So let me figure out what I'm going to do with the Italians, and then I will be back. Okay, for Italy, we're going to spend six bucks on a sub, four bucks on an anti-aircraft gun, ten dollars on a fighter, and we're going to spend six bucks to start another battleship. And I'm just checking to make sure I can build fighters for ten. Yep, I can. And we're going to save two dollars. Um, <clears throat> we do have some combat moves. The big one is we're going to go for Transcaucasia. If we get it, Turkey's going to align with Germany. <clears throat> so, obviously, all three of these light tanks are going to go in here. Like this. And these two planes are also going to go in. And they're going to have two left in their fuel tank, which is enough to get back to Iraq. So we're going to hope the Russians don't roll well with those mountain infantry. And then, um, actually, I think I might have just seen another combat move. Um... Maybe. This sub is definitely going to move down and convoy the British again. Right here. I'd really like to take Crete and deny a landing spot for the Commonwealth, but the Germans could also do that with their paratrooper next turn. So I think I'm going to leave it at that for my combat moves. So let's do the big one. I'm going to move the battle for Transcaucasia over to the battle board and I'll be back. Okay, this is in mountains, so the light tanks are all at three. So if we get two hits on the first round of combat, we, it's done because the most they can get is two. So three light tanks at three or less. And there's the two hits we needed. So they will shoot back at five or less. And they got one hit. So that is a really, really big deal. Because Transcaucasia has just aligned to Italy, which means all that stuff is going to become Italian. And unfortunately, Italy won't get the five bucks this turn, but they will get it next turn. So Italy goes from 17 to 22, but I'm going to put a five next to their thing because they don't get that five bucks. Russia's going to go from 29 down to 24. And I need to grab a bunch of Italian stuff because all that turkey stuff now aligns 
to Italy. And I talked to Rank Carcass about this, and he and I agreed, and he pulled his game group. The rules say that it aligns to Germany if Germany controls Transcaucasia, but I think the rules assume that only Germany would take this. We agreed that if Italy takes this, it should align to Italy. So, put the Italian piece of pie there. I will take these turkey pies off and put three Italian piece of pies down there like that. And then I'll go move the Italian income, income up three more from 22 to 25. And they will collect that this turn, that three bucks anyway. And then this militia will become an Italian militia. And this infantry will become an Italian infantry. This artillery becomes an Italian artillery. Same with the cavalry. Like that. This becomes an Italian infantry. And then look at the, they got a minor factory here, by the way. That becomes an Italian destroyer. Like that. Last but not least, that becomes an Italian fighter. And I kind of have to make more. I have not made enough flight stands for my Italian fighters, so we'll have to slum it a little bit there for now. But that's a really big deal that Italy just took that. And um, so, and we'll show you why in a minute, because at least a couple of these units will now get into the fight for Africa next turn. And that's going to seriously... Um, hamper the Allied efforts here in Africa. So let's go ahead and do this roll. Uh, and I, like an idiot, took a guy off escort duty with the Commonwealth last turn. So the Commonwealth will have plus one, and Italy will have plus two. It doesn't matter. Um, and now for the kill, no good. So we'll take him off convoy like that. And now we'll go into non-combat for Italy. So up here, I'm going to assume they can't land back in Turkey. And I don't think it really matters. So we'll move these two guys back to Iraq. Like that. Um, and I'm also going to assume these guys can't move this turn. Um, if I got that wrong, let me know. Um, let me see. Make sure you can see what I'm getting ready to do here because it's pretty important. And you couldn't. So, yeah, let's do that. So, this transport's going to go one, pick up this tank and this infantry, and then go two, drop them both into here, and let me grab some chips for that. I need to get that cluttered. So I think we're ready to start making a push down here personally. Um, we got four infantry and two tanks. These planes can get involved eventually. Um, so um, maybe start making a push through Saudi Arabia now too. We got to think about that as well. 
Um, and then, let's see, this transport here is going to go one, two, like that. And look at that. He's going to be able to pick up Italian people next turn and take them down here as well. Um, this anti-aircraft is going to move, gun is going to move down to Rome like that. Then I got to figure out what to do with this fighter. Um, oh, I know. I'm actually going to move this fighter one, two, three into Sardinia like that. And, uh, yeah, like that. And then if they come attack me, I've at least got something to hit them back and try to take out their planes. And this guy will stay here in case they want to bomb my major factory. So actually, you know what? No, this guy's going to move back. No, wait, I already bought, yeah, I bought a fighter to go in my capital. So I'll leave this guy here. Like that. Okay. I should have paid this dollar to fix this airbase so they can scramble. And I'll do that. I'm going to allow myself to retroactively do that. I had an extra buck to spend anyway. So we will do that. And then I think that's it. So looking pretty good for Italy now. Um, let's place units. As I mentioned... Bought another fighter. So I'll have two to protect my major factory here now. And then bought another anti aircraft gun to go in there as well to protect the carpet bombing. And then I bought another sub, which I'll place and putting the battleship on stage four off screen and then the sub will be placed right there so what do you guys think of italy's turn january 1943 i think it's pretty exciting for them to be able to take transcaucasia align turkey have all those extra units i mean that's uh 3 12 22 that's 30 plus bucks worth of units they just got um Plus the Transcaucasia territory will give them five bucks long term. And if they get up into North Caucasia, if Germany will let them have that, that's another three bucks. So what does that mean for America? What do they try to do now? Who knows? Um, all right, let's collect income. We saved a buck. We're at 25. And we get another two for Suez. That's 27. There's no enemy surface warships in the med. That's 29. Plus we get a D12. Or we get two D6. So 29 plus 9 is 38. Minus 5 is $33 for Italy. Because they can't collect this $5 this turn. So, not bad for Italy. Not bad at all. That's 20, 30, 1, 2, 3, plus 1 is $34 that they'll get to spend next turn. And they got another minor factory in Turkey now, so they can build six units now. So, pretty exciting for them. And they might upgrade that one to a major or a medium just to protect from anything that might happen to Turin. So that is Italy and uh, France also for January 1943. I'm Rossi Bass signing off.